Hello, hope you are well. My name is Frank and it is a pleasure to have you here with me today. We're going to see what the nutritional genius gets at the grocery store. And if you guys missed that title, you know, everyone, doctors, influencers, fitness, whatever it is, seems to copy Frank Defano, but I won't get too into that today. But we got a new outfit, guys. The winter Wi-Fi shielding clothing is officially here. I'll put that on the website later and we'll talk about it more on Monday. Just all black guys, very simple, very cute. You could wear it under your clothes, you could actually wear it out, whatever you like. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I've had a lot of variance in my meals lately. So just by showing you guys, you know, all of the ingredients, what I cook with, you can kind of get an idea of how my diet looks over the span of a month or so. Let's start with the counter. And a lot of this stuff people put in the fridge, but it really shouldn't be in the fridge. Sometimes like apples and lemons. Uh, but here we have potatoes. And I've been making French fries with these lately. You guys see I actually have some right here, ready to be cooked in the oven later when I decide to eat. Just a little bit of coconut oil and salt. And those potato chips, guys, even the organic ones from the grocery store, just feel so horrible after eating them. You know, vegetable seed oils are vegetable seed oils. I'll have those French fries usually with like a steak sandwich or a burger. That's what this bread is primarily for. I will saute onions occasionally, have them on that burger. The lemons apples here i'm using in my morning liver detox smoothie if you guys didn't see that video last saturday definitely check it out because i'm not going to go into detail on all of the ingredients with that and this is um, the vegetable i was talking about in that video that i didn't disclose i actually think the apples are a better choice so don't worry about that too much moving over here we have a big tub of refined coconut oil that i've been using to cook with the Ninja Blender for my morning detox smoothie. Leftover water kefir from the night before. And here is just a bunch of random stuff. Some of the artichoke fiber that I'm putting in that morning smoothie. Acacia fiber I'm putting in there. Salt, pepper. We got some wine that I put in my venison stew. And then up here is just all random supplements. You know, some stuff from organ supplements, some stuff from things I've had in the past. Ingredients that I'll be putting in uh, the morning liver detox smoothie and just stuff that I take a couple of times a month. Here's the activated charcoal that I've been taking after meals. You guys saw that in my last day of eating. Here on the kitchen table, we have the masticum that I take with every meal. All this stuff, guys, it's either on Frankie's Range Foods or organ supplements for the most part. You can check out frank defonocom to see everything. Speaking of which, from Frankie's Free Range Meats, these are the steaks that I've been having lately. Organic ribeye, organic flank steak, some more ribeye here. You know, I haven't been eating as much meat as carnivore, usually about a pound a day. So since I'm down at Frankie's range meat every day, I don't keep too much meat in the fridge. I really don't. Uh, this is the organic mayonnaise that I've been putting on the steak sandwich on occasion. And back here is actually some ground venison that I'm gonna put in a stew. Uh, we have one pound ground venison packages. Very nice guys, very affordable, at least compared to other stuff I've seen online. I think you guys have been enjoying the ground venison a lot. But everything else in the fridge is not mine. It's all my parents' stuff. One way my mother likes to decorate is make everything impossible to open. So up here, I've been having some organic apple cinnamon oatmeal, sometimes as a dessert. Oats, excellent fiber. I kind of like this. It's nostalgic. I used to have it as a kid all the time. But, you know, obviously it's not the highest quality, even though it's organic. Oats are kind of hard to get good, but I have been having that a few times a week. And sometimes I'll actually put some of this walnut butter in the oatmeal. Very, very small amount, just if I want some extra fats. I couldn't find this without cashews, but it's not horrible. It's decent for gaining weight. So now into the dining room, aka my pantry. I have some Mountain Valley water that I use for cooking as well as drinking. And this is a lot of stuff I honestly haven't been using lately. I, I do go to the supermarket almost every day just because it's on the way home from work. And this box over here is what I consider like my desserts. I have some sugar that I used to make the cookies with. All these are cookie ingredients. Coconut milk, white chocolate chips, different types of chocolate chips. Haven't been making my cookies for a while. And if you guys missed that video, it was called like vegan cookie recipe. So check that out. What I have been having is organic banana baby food. Maybe every other meal I'll have, you know, two or three of these at the end of the meal. These are just some snacks. Sometimes I'll have these down at Frankie's range meat, but only reason I brought them up here is just for a little experiment. This is beef broth that I use for the stew, as well as some 
cannellini beans that I honestly don't have as much as I should. We do have the collagen broth on frankiesfreerangefoods.com, but from like a volume perspective, you would add the collagen broth with a couple of these because the beef broth is made with mostly muscle meat, whereas the collagen broth is made with, you know, the collagenous bones and stuff. And here's the carbohydrate bin. This is kind of what I have actually been having. So rice only a few times a month, actually. Pasta probably a couple of times a week. This is durum wheat semolina. There is some barley in here that I haven't had in the stew in a while, but I'm probably going to make it today or tomorrow just because it's so much easier. I don't have to do anything. There's some oats back there that I never tried, some flour that I, you know, sometimes I'll make the cookies, as I said, or I'll even bread some, like, beef and make steak cutlets. And this is some stuff I tried, but I don't recommend it. Uh, they'll have, like, rice medleys at the supermarket, and the problem is they parboil the rice, and I think there's, like, a lot of fluoride and chlorine in the water they used to parboil it because I really don't feel good after eating that stuff. So just stick to you know, regular rice, organic, and cook it yourself. I don't really have anything to show you guys down here in the garage, but just more water, and this is where I keep my kefir. So I'll take home, like, a case of whatever flavor I want. I'll leave it in here, and I'll drink it over the course of the week. This is apple lemon, so I always have some. I think that's it for the most part. I didn't show you guys the supplements. Obviously, we did a video on that a couple weeks back. You guys didn't see the flextrose, which I usually have in the morning smoothie. I ran out of it. I got to grab some more. Uh, down at Frankie's Strange Meat. Uh, but really, if you guys have any questions about anything else I'm eating, please let me know. I know I mentioned a book some months back, but I really don't know when I'm going to come out with that. You know, I wanted to have some other business things in place before releasing that book. So it could be a year, it could be two years, who knows? I don't know. It could be three months and then I just disappear to Colombia for the coca and the buba. Uh, so who knows? But thank you guys for joining me today. Please drop a like on the video. Subscribe to that YouTube, can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, as I said, frank com guys, support me through all of my businesses. Thanks again. I'll see you guys tomorrow.